Tonight's 11th hour presentation is the last in a short season of acting tapes, which has been examining the two main but contrasting styles of acting in the 20th century theatre and cinema. Mark Nash now provides the introduction to Robert Brisson's Mouchette. This evening's film, in our series on film performance, Mouchette, was made in 1967. It was adapted from a novel by the French Catholic writer Bernanos, who supported the Republican cause in the Spanish Civil War. He wrote his novel after seeing Republican hostages being taken off for execution on the Jorca. Although these events play no direct part in this film, the dignity of these hostages is paralleled in the characterization of the peasant girl, Mouchette. The director of Mouchette, Robert Bresson, is of particular interest to our series because of his consistent use of non-professional actors. Like the Soviet director, Lev Kuleshov, Bresson regards film actors as models, by analogy with the passive role of the artist's model in painting, their movements and expression free from theatricality, are organized for the camera and a performance constructed in the editing. Bresson often refuses to use the same performer twice. Rather than develop an ensemble of actors with a performance style specifically designed for the camera, Bresson takes the opposite course, reducing their role to that of objects. As he has said, no actors, no directing of actors, no parts, no learning of parts, no staging, but the use of working models taken from life, being models instead of seeming actors. Robert Bresson was born in France in 1907 and educated in Paris. His first ambition was to be a painter and he only began a career in cinema in 1943 after returning from a German prison camp. Bresson has tended to work on literary adaptations, concentrating on works with spiritual themes. Yet his style has made him a legend among filmmakers such as Jean-Marie Straub and Daniel Huillet, filmmakers more concerned with social rather than spiritual issues and interested in developing a radical language for cinema, an alternative to Hollywood. For Bresson, the theater brings out the false, whereas the cinema can reveal the truth. His use of non-professional actors follows from this. Professionals, he feels, have acquired bad ways of expression, false exterior means of exposition. He is particularly critical of the performances constructed by Hollywood. His models, on the other hand, pitched into the action of the film, will get used to the gestures they have repeated 20 times. The words they have learned with their lips will find, without their minds taking part in this, the inflections and the lilt proper to their true natures. A way of recovering the automatism of real life. Oh, 
vaut mieux c'est de m'en aller. Bresson insists that his actors remove any drama from their performance, the dramatic, psychological performances which theatrically trained actors produce distract from the other elements of the film. In his words, it's not a matter of acting simple or of acting inward, but of not acting at all. Model, reduce to the minimum the share his consciousness has, tighten the meshing within which he cannot any longer not be him, and where he can now do nothing that is not useful. Against actors' assurance, set the charm of models who do not know what they are. Only when the actor's performance, their image and voice, is reduced to the status of an object, hence the word model, is the effect satisfactory. The result of this disciplined approach is not an, the opposite of feeling or expression, but quite the opposite. As Kulishov said, an act, once all the movements of an actor are disciplined, the smallest gesture becomes resonant. To put it another way, one of Mouchette's tears is worth a thousand of Meryl Streep's. Do not try and do not wish to draw tears from the public with the tears of your models. But with this image, rather than that one, this sound, rather than that one, exactly in their place. This attitude of exploring the ways image and sound, rather than narrative and plot, reveal the inner nature of characters as other cinematic precedents, such as the Danish filmmaker Carl Dreyer. Bressel in his films characteristically uses a large number of close-ups. He shows fragments of bodies. He concentrates not on people's faces, but on details of physical movement, the legs of a person walking, a hand lifting a glass or closing a door. He uses sound, a car on the road, the cracking of twigs, with equal deliberation and economy. Painting, he said, has taught me that there is only one point in space from which an object at a particular point in time demands to be seen. You must not make beautiful images, but necessary ones. Ça me tient jusqu'au milieu de la poitrine.